Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and welcome to another voice actor spotlight. And this spotlight has nothing to do with Transformers, what I've been doing for the past two years. But I've been wanting to branch off for a while, and I think Simon Templeman is a perfect actor to start that, because of one iconic role he played, Kane, of the Legacy of Kane franchise. I mean, he's the second half of my moniker, how could I not spotlight him? It's been a pleasure doing research on this British actor, and I'm eager to show you what I found about him, so here goes. Born January 28, 1954, Simon grew up outside of London in a town called East Grinstead in Sussex. His interest in acting came from seeing his aunt, who was part of an amateur dramatic society at his local theatre in a play called Holly and the Ivy when he was 7 or 8 years old. The play pulled hard on a chord within Simon, and recalling he thought he was a terrible student, acting answered a lot of questions he was asking himself. He started going to see more plays, some at the Royal Shakespeare Company in London, watching actors such as Ian McAllen, Ellen Mirren, and Patrick Stewart. The director at the time, Trevor Nunn, had an approach that spoke to Simon, where within a team of actors, everyone was interchangeable, sometime leading, sometime playing smaller parts. That sense of community appealed to Simon, as well as the need to develop the art and reveal those plays to the public to be more important than making money. Simon was involved in the National Youth Year, a summer program where you perform plays, some of them written specifically for teenagers, and sometimes Shakespeare plays with a teenage cast. He really had fun and it made him want to pursue acting even more, so he enrolled in drama school, which eventually led to theater and television work. Simon mentions that back then you started in small, local theaters and worked your way up to the major ones, and it was the best way to learn how to be a stage actor. Seeing great actors seemingly fill up huge theater venues with very little effort was amazing to Simon and he desired to emulate them. He also had a love for radio, going to sleep listening to Radio 4 in England, listening to news, documentaries and entertainment pieces. When someone introduced him to a voiceover agent, Simon got impressed that many voiceover actors could do a radio show on their own, playing numerous voice and characters, sometimes interviewing themselves. He started doing voice work, which eventually led him to cartoons and video games. To keep this simple, I'll present his career by categories. For TV, his first credited role is for the miniseries The Talisman, where he played Garrett in 1981. He's been active on screen for 40 years, guest starring in many classic shows including Star Trek's The Next Generation, Melrose Place, Mad About You, Lois and Clark The New Adventures of Superman, Murphy Brown, Home Improvement, NYPD Blue, Charm as the Angel of Death, Angel, 24, Modern Family, and The Orville. He also got to star in his own show The Neighbors for 44 episodes taking on the role of Larry Bird. We are familiar with the details of the Hidden Hills townhouse development located in the land of New Jersey. In cartoons, you heard him first on Tailspin as Ricky Sky, then he worked on James Bond Jr. for 63 episodes as Trevor Noseworthy 4. Me? You must be joking. I wouldn't waste my time on riffraff like him. You could have heard him as Sir Mordred in two episodes of Biker Mice from Mars. He's remembered for voicing Doctor Doom in both Fantastic Four and the Incredible Hulk cartoons in the 1990s. Let mankind beware, for Doctor Doom has attained powers without limit, and this time, there will be no failure. You also heard him on Totally Spies as Dr. Gilly, and Lunatics Unleashed as Dr. Dare. And in video games, I think this is where he's known best. Well, to me anyway. Aside from being a couple voice in Star Wars TIE Fighter, he started working on a franchise that is dear to my heart, Legacy of Kane. Starring as Kane in Blood Omen, that voice could not have been more perfect for the role. Joined by an amazing cast that includes Tony J, Paul Lukather, Richard Doyle, Anna Gunn, and Neil Ross. This game is probably responsible for improving the vocabulary of thousands of teenagers around the world. Written by the talented Amy Ennig, the cast gave life to the game and debuted a franchise that was revolutionary at the time. What? No mug of ale for a weary traveler from distant Corhagen? I can reward you well, for I am of noble blood. As you probably know, Simon reprised Kane for Soul Reaver, adding Michael Bell as Raziel to the stellar cast. Raziel. Kane. The Abyss has been unkind. Soul Reaver too soon followed. 
And if Mobius told you I was hidden on the underside of hell, would you throw yourself into oblivion to pursue me? Adding Rene Aubergenois to the cast, and then Blood Omen 2 came along, where I actually started on that franchise. The natural order. Vampires preying upon humans. And said franchise came to an end with Legacy of Cain Defiance, an epic finale for an epic series. I awoke to find myself in a shadowy realm. A disquieting stillness lay where my heart had been. But Simon did so much more than this for the gaming industry. Aside many additional voice work, you heard him as Prince James and MacDougall in Gabriel Knight 3, Gabriel Roman in the Uncharted franchise, Loghain in Dragon Age Origin and Inquisition, Perithus in God of War 3, Archimedes in God of War Ascension, and Derek Garrison in Fallout 76. So this is Simon Templeman in a nutshell, and I think this actor deserves all the credit he is due for all of his work. He's been involved in every medium of acting, has been successful on all of them, and still works today nearing 70 years old. I keep noticing that voice actors don't retire. They keep working until they can, and they do it for the love of the craft. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Simon Templeman's career. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care! Thank you.